If you've got some differences with other leaders within the Herbalife company, I would ask you to settle those differences. In, 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 in the interest of future, in the interest of doing the billions we want to do. Because when top leaders don't work together, I'm telling you, it is incredibly costly to the whole company. When it's costly to the whole company, it's costly to each individual organization. But if we work together, all of that can be taken care of. Even if you've got some differences, find something you have in common and see if you can't work together while then you work on settling those differences. I'm asking all of you to follow that example and do the same thing. Not only work together with someone else, but get other people to work together, and then we can finish the job Mark gave us to do all those years ago. Had the president's team not responded a few years ago to Mark's call and worked together on covering the world, someone from Africa going to Europe, someone from Europe coming to America, someone from America going to Japan, not working together is so costly. Not settling these little differences is so costly. I don't want these billions to be missing in the future. I want every billion. I'm jealous about every billion in sales because of what it represents. So let's get it done and let's work together. Now, let me leave you now with this message. Three important words I want you to consider. First is compassion. Mark's compassion to help people was unprecedented. He demonstrated it every day. He truly wanted to reach everybody. And if it would have been at all possible for him to have reached everybody in person, he would have done that. He would have walked the streets. He would have covered the world and touched everybody individually if he possibly could have. But he couldn't touch everybody individually by himself. He touched as many as he could, signed as many autographs as he could, took as many pictures as he possibly could, flew as many miles as he could, did as many meetings as he possibly could, did as much training as he possibly could. Nobody did it better. And the reason... And the reason is because he had this driving compassion that if he could reach somebody with the products, they would not suffer what he had seen other people suffer without the Herbalife products. It was his compassion that caused him to reach out and touch the people and help them to get started even though they had not much to start with. That was compassion. I'm asking you to find it within yourself, a new 21st century compassion for yourself so that you will be driven to reach the people. You will be driven to talk to the next person. You will be driven to help somebody change their life best you can. The next word I would ask you to consider is commitment. If all of us will commit to the dream, if we will commit to the opportunity, if we will commit to the chance to be the best in influencing our industry, the best in network marketing around the world, a commitment of developing leadership second to none, of putting together a team that can finish the job over the next few years, committed to the next 20 years, if all of us will make that personal commitment I'm telling you the collective commitment will be unbeatable as we go now country after country with the 49, 50 we've already got, using all of that information, all of that experience, getting to the rest of the countries of the world with commitment. We can do that. The collective commitment will be awesome. Our total collective commitment can solve any problem, develop any product, go any place, reach any community, and touch anybody that needs to be touched with the Herbalife opportunity. 
There's nothing more powerful than collective commitment. I promise you mine, and if you will promise yours to me, and I promise mine to you, and we promise ours to herbal life, and we promise that we will work together with each other, that commitment will help us finish the job. And here's the last word, and that's courage. It's going to take some courage for some of you to settle your differences. It's going to take some courage for some of you to step out and lead the way. It's going to take courage for you to look inside and say, what do I need to correct within myself that will make me a better person, a better leader, so that I can make my commitment to herbal life and get the job done? Looking inside is a courageous act finding some things that aren't quite to your liking, some things that you need to correct, some things that you need to do. I've had to do that now for all of these years. Because if you're going to tell the story to the public, often you've got to look inside and see if there aren't some corrections you need to make. But I'm asking you to have the courage to make those corrections. If you need to apologize to somebody, I'm asking you to have the courage to give that apology. It could work wonders, not only for you and for that person, and for your organization and their organization, but all of herbal life. If you have to take the first step, I'm asking you to have the courage to take the first step. If you have to make the first call, I'm asking you to have the courage to make the first call. And if we will take that kind of personal responsibility and look after ourselves, that we become honorable, that we become people of integrity, that we leave the door open, to work with whoever wants to be responsible to get the job done in the future, there is not anything Herbalife cannot accomplish, and the next few years of the 21st century belongs to Herbalife.